Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So it's me, Shin Landicho. Okay, so uh, I know guys, medyo matagal na naman ako nakabalik. Like it's been a month after I uploaded a new video, but that's fine. Ewan ko ba bakit ako nagpapaka-busy, but you know, um, I also miss vlogging <clears throat> uh, regularly like twice a month. Kasi minsan uh, nahihirap na rin ako or naubos na din ako ng content, so naghisip pa ako talaga. I know marami na nag-review nito, it's too late, or masyado na ako late. So, yep. Today, let's make a first impression review about the the All Day Foundation, uh, the All Day Foundation from the Everbelena, and it costs like 195 pesos. Okay, according to this foundation, <clears throat> get skin that looks flawless at every uh, angle with EB All Day Liquid Foundation. <clears throat> This buildable formula helps even out the skin tone and conceals blemishes while providing a hydration without the greasy feel. So, napaka promising ng kanya claim and I'm in the shade Orient. So, I bought this in a market mall, Watson. So, they do have four shades with this, which is the sand, oriental, the porcelain, and the neutral, I think. I forgot to add the other one. So, I swatch. The two shades that that I know it will work on my skin, which is the Sandstorm and the Oriental. First, hindi ako get bumili. I just swatch or I just swipe it out here on my arms. Dito sa at the back of my arms, dito siya sinwatch. The Oriental and the Sandstorm. So I wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes before ako nag-confirm kung ano shade yung bibilin ko. The reason why is I am quite acidic sa mga selected um, foundations. So eventually, after 10 minutes, si Sunstorm talaga yung pinaka-priority kong kunin sana kasi up upon swatching it on my skin, it is actually exact. Exacto talaga siya sa aking skin tone and of course, um, you know, hindi siya ganun ka, ka light on my skin but eventually guys, yun nga, after 10 minutes talagang nag-darken up sila. And surprisingly, Si Oriental talaga yung nag-plak dun sa skin ko. As yung plak, ganun. Nung nakikita mo, after uh, yellow undertone, siya yung mabilis nag-react na 3 to 5 minutes talaga yung nag-tone down ng bonggang-bong kasi Oriental at pumantay siya sa aking skin. I don't still get it ever, Belena, why you're not trying to, you know, to um, to make a wide, vary, uh, a wide range of your um, shades. Kasi we are here in the 2019 na na Marami na mga Pinoy na nakaka-appreciate na kanilang sariling skin na from medium to morena. Like ako, I am a medium skin tone. I, I'm not actually a fair but medium. Uh, before kasi I am obsessed of, you know, using a glutathione just to make my skin fair. And eventually guys, talagang marirealize mo na parang you have to appreciate your own skin. You have to accept your own skin na kung ano ba talaga yung natural skin mo. So yun nga, nagiging trend na talaga ngayon yung pag-appreciation of your bare skin. But the problem is, I'm so sorry for Morena skin type, but definitely this foundation is not for you. Um, a lot of uh, Filipino right now is um, disappointed kasi nga, the range is actually... So without further ado, let's get down to the video! This product, uh, the, to their packaging is it has a pump, so you can dispense the product easily and um, controlled rather. Para ayon di siya, it's not a tricky when you are dispensing the product on your skin. So the packaging is matte in, in a matte tube, con uh, matte tube container, and it has the print over there and the claims and um. Wow, so sabi dito, uh, cruelty free and paraben free si uh, everybody. And 12 months lang ang kaya niya So within 12 months, upon opening your product, you have to use it at least um, before matasong 12 months. Kasi hanggang 1 year lang ang kaya niya itagal. Like, I don't know. I'm currently having a problem, technical problem on my lightings. 
Yep. So let's dispense it. So shake muna pala before use. <coughs> Ay, nakalimutan ko ba sa inyo guys? Sorry ah. It contains 35 grams. So let's... Oh. So nag-dispense ako ng tupa. Not to runny. But actually, not runny. But it is actually thick foundation. So usually, pag thick foundation, I'm expecting of, you know, coverage. And the shade is actually, I'm a little bit afraid of my shade. Mm. Kasi nag-swatch ako sa, uh, dito sa arms, not on my uh, hair, sa jaw line. Dapat, uh, pag nag-swatch ka or pag naghahanap ka ng shade mo, the perfect tester is your jaw. Kasi nandiyan talaga yung basihan mo for your perfect skin or perfect skin tone or perfect shade ng inyong foundation. Okay, so I've decided na magkakaroon tayo ng two types of application ng foundation. So, on the right side here on my face, <coughs> I'm going to use a wet sponge. And on the left side on my face is, is I'm going to use a brush. So, as you can see, there's a lot of bumps and redness that's actually picking through on... Wow. Picking through on my skin, but... Wow. Look at that coverage. Can you see that? Oh my god! And the scent is actually level, uh, nag level up the scent nila. Kasi before yung scent nila, um, hindi ko talaga gusto ang mga foundation ng Everbelen. The reason why is, first, yun nga, um, yung coverage nila doon, yung mga babasagin na foundation, actually it's not good and the shade, the shade is actually not good as well. Puro pink undertone, but right now, Ay sila lang gusto akong base, base nila sa Everbelina which is the BB Cream, the Oriental shade as well. Yun. Kaso yung yung scent nun naman, amoy, amoy, amoy coconut. But this one, amoy siya, amoy perfume, amoy perfume, amoy perfume yung naamoy ko sa kanya. Okay, so, this is how it looks like on the right side. On my face, obviously, my bumps and redness are totally gone. But there's still a, a little bit appearance on my dark spots here on the here on, on this part and this one. But uh, in terms of the coverage, uh, instant medium coverage. Uh, Lalat pas pa ng konti sa medium, but not full coverage. But um, you know, mas pataas ng konti sa medium, cause as you can see on my camera right now, on the screen right now, like yeah, I have no problem sa application niya, sa sponge and yep. Pero obvious na maputi sa akin yung foundation. So ayan, nakikita niya naman lumulutang yung mukha ko from my neck. Ang layo ng shade sa akin. This is one of them about Everbelen na. But hindi kayo, mag, ano, hindi kayo maglabas ng wide range ng uh, foundation. Tuting na medium skin tone na ako ha. But... <sighs> Tapos line na pa ni Katriwa na gray. Parang, oh, di ba? Silver lining. Uh, silver linings. Ba mo? Okay. So, what I like to this product is... You don't need to use concealer anymore because, yeah, right now, I'm satisfied with the coverage. Okay, no, okay, siya. And the feeling is not too matte, but it's a demi matte finish. Yep, demi matte finish, it seems like para siyang ano, um, para siyang maybe like 54 less foundation. Ganyan yung pagka finish niya. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish my makeup and I'll be right back in a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Okay guys, so I am back. I am done with my makeup right now and I don't know. Hindi ko alam kung anong comment ko sa foundation. It is already um it is already 10:53. I'm 8:53 na ng umaga and <clears throat> pag wala ilaw guys, okay siya. Okay? So papakita ko sa inyo may natural lighting, okay naman siya. Pero yun nga lang pag nasisinagan talaga siya ng ilaw 
talagang magsasabog yung alam niyo, talagang mag-explore yung white ka sa mukha mo na nagmumukhang like, gray yung mukha mo. Mukhang gray yung mukha mo. Mukhang gray yung mukha mo. Mukhang gray yung mukha mo. <laughs> yep, so I'll be right back later for my first update. Okay guys, so this is how it looks like for the nat uh, for the natural lighting. So nandito ako sa pinto ngayon. Obviously, it it works very well naman. Okay naman yung shades sa akin kapag walang ilaw or yung talagang artificial light katulad ng ring light ko or any light na pure white. Kasi it can totally justify or emphasize the what we call the white cast. So yun. And this the natural lighting. So wait, punta ako sa kusina. Yun lang ang nakikita ko encountered. Ayun lang na, na encountered kong pr uh, problem sa kanya. So see, di ba? Okay naman eh. Okay naman yung foundation. Siguro di ko lang siya talaga masasuggest for the photoshoot. Lahat na merong, alam mo yun, may, may flashback. Uh, may, may mga flash photography. Well, for, uh, for me, it is not advisable to use this kind of foundation. Maybe pang molding lang siya. Okay naman pang mall. So, ang kinis niyang tignan sa camera, ay Anyway, I'm using Huawei P20 Lite um, camera, not my um, Canon ESF na kasi nasa ring light siya ngayon at nakakatamad mag-touch ng camera. So, kayo na humusga. Ano ba palagay ninyo? So, yep. As you can see, nag-bronzer na ako lahat-lahat dyan para lang ma-maximize ma ko yung um, ma, ma minimize ko yung tone ng foundation but still it doesn't work sa lightings ko doon. Hi guys! So, update lang. So, it is already 10.15 na ng umaga and it's been like isa kalating oras na nakalipas and wala pang 2 hours pero yung oil ko sa nose ayan na, nag nagmumura na siya. Ayan, kita nyo ba? Shining siya mo yung splendid. So, mm. so, I am not sure about this foundation pero kasi ang problema ko kasi sa uh, foundation na nire-review natin ngayon is the shade is not actually accurate like yes it's in a yellow undertone but kapag um, tinamaan siya ng ilaw especially white pure white na ilaw uh, for artificial light uh, may white cast talaga siya na hindi ko talaga ito masasuggest or na kung for party na merong meron kayong photoshoot or meron kayong uh, mga selfies na merong flash Def definitely I'm not going to recommend this foundation kasi talagang white cast galore yung ganap so much better siguro pakita ko na kayo ng sample uh, shot ng merong flash at without flash so you will able to see the difference of the foundation kapag merong flash at saka walang flash so time check it is now already uh, 11 10 Anong umaga and it's been, it's been two and a half hours na yung nakalipas and the oil is there. As we are right now like on my cheeks okay pa but on my nose surprisingly sa forehead wala akong oil sa ilong lang talaga but considering the weather that we have here right now it is I, I mean malamig siya ngayon today. So, hindi ko din talaga ma-test out yung product kung ano ba talaga yung performance niya. But considering the weather, I think um, yung oil control, I have, a, I have a, you know, a partial prediction about that. Dahil malamig, uh, ang duda ko, hindi ito pwede for summer. Kasi, uh, I know, I don't, I know what is my skin condition. I know how, what, how does the foundation will work on my skin. You know? Okay, so hindi ko lang alam kung nakikita niyo yung oil, pero ayun o, can you see that? Grabe. Kung sa cheeks lang, wala tayong problema, pero sa nose, ayun o, nakikita niyo ba? Di ba pa? Okay, pero tingnan naman natin, kasi may mga foundation na alam mo na hindi mo kailangan mag, mag retouch as in yung mag ka lang, okay na. Malay naman natin, di ba? Pero as of the moment, nag-tone down naman yung foundation sa akin after ng two and a half hours. Pero yun nga lang, di ba, sa flash photography, hindi siya okay.
napuno yung oil sa blotting paper which means uh, nag oil lang bonggam 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 bongga ang aking face and another problem is um meron siyang transfer not minimal pero talaga meron siyang transfer magtingin ako na medyo peachy or orange yung blotting paper transfer galore ang ganap ni Ever Belena and after I blot uh, bumalik siya sa pagiging matte. So, I don't have, I don't feel any tacky. Hindi siya malagkit. So, uh, matte naman ulit siya ngayon. Uh, and I don't think so that I need to retouch. Everything is good. Everything is fine. Siguro babalik na lang later for my final update. So, I'll be right back. Hi guys. So, I'm back for the final update. So, it is now already, um, 12.24 na nang tanghali. It's been almost three, uh, almost four hours na nakalipas to be very, to be exact. So, okay, let's see. Actually, it does the job. As a foundation, yes, it does the job. Though the, the shade is not accurate again and again and again. Hindi accurate yung, uh, yung, hindi accurate yung shade. So, let me tell you this. So, parang ganito siya. So this is the foundation, okay? So ito yung foundation guys, as you can see, um, ay no. Pag ganyan, yellow under to, pero pag binlend out mo na siya, lalabas yung white cast. Nakikita ninyo? Yellow, un uh, yellow under to naman siya, but kapag binlend out mo yung foundation, to nag a yung white cast ng foundation. Okay, so... Is this okay or not? Or it, I mean, is this a good deal or not? Considering the price, I think this one is good. Uh, sa akin, nag-work naman yung shade, nag-tone down siya, and yun. So finally, uh, I know, pwede ko pa siyang gamitin. Kasi, yung nga lang, it takes time bago mag-tone down. At saka nag-tone down, nag down siya, very, very minimal lang, but still, the outcast is still there. Pero, yun. Um, may, pwede ko ba siyang i-recommend? So, pwede ko nga ba siyang i-recommend para sa inyo? Depende yun guys sa skin type nyo and skin color ninyo or skin tone ninyo. Now, if you're oily skin combination, then definitely this foundation will work to your skin. But, if you're, if you're oily skin, I don't know. Pero, try nyo lang mag-bake or try nyo lang din siguro mag-primer. Yung mainan na primer na alam nyo nakakapag-hold up ng inyong oil control. And definitely, this foundation will work as well to your skin. In terms of application, whether it is a brush or a sponge, kahit, uh, kahit alin sa kailangan na mag-work. <clears throat> so, if you're aiming for a full coverage, mostly, yeah, mostly sa mga foundation na mga foundation routine ko, if you're aiming for a full coverage or a high coverage, uh, definitely you should use a brush but if you're aiming for a uh, uh, natural coverage my coverage but still it will it will looks like a natural then definitely this punch will do pero sa kaso ni uh, ever belena uh, all the liquid foundation kahit alin sa kanya dalawa pareho lang yung finish do lumalamang lang ng konti Okay, so thanks for watching guys. Sana nakatulong itong video na to, no? So anyway, please don't forget to subscribe. And then please um, follow me on my social media account as well. And see you on my next video. Bye!